The next thing we're going to have a look at is the My Content. So we actually have that built into the Browse page here. So we have our favorite items. So these are all the items that I frequently use and have as such added as favorites. Uh, each user will have a different set of items. Um, I can also see my draft content. Uh, at the moment I've been very good and I've saved everything so uh, we don't have anything in progress but if I did it would appear here. And also my recent content. Alternatively if I go back to the dashboard you'll see I have a list here of items so again that's my content panel and it's favorites recently accessed and I don't even see the draft items here because like I said before we don't have any in progress. Okay so we're a little bit familiar with how to get around now so we've been to the dashboard we've been to the browse page and we've also accessed an individual report but we haven't really explored this left side navigation now this is not always available in your system so your administrator may choose to have a navigation that looks like a toolbar here uh, and it will allow you to access the same sort of items uh, but it will just be the names of the items across the toolbar but the more commonly used style now is this left nav. So you'll see this button is on the majority of pages. And if I click it, I have direct access to all the major areas of my system. Now, I'm currently logged into the system as an administrator. So I have access to all of the functionality. But as a report consumer, you may have less. So you may only have access to reading content uh, and things like that. And you may not have access to things like create or administration. So from here, I can click on my name and access all of my uh, items. So I can do things like navigate to my timeline. I can see all the tasks that have been assigned to me and you'll find out about those shortly. Uh, and you can also see some uh, standard settings and things. From here you can also see a list of your dashboards. So this is the same list that I have available here. I can see people that I've connected with. I can directly go to the browse page as I mentioned earlier. I can go to streams which we will revisit and administration. But what I'm going to concentrate on now is accessing my timeline. So like I said before, Timeline is effectively uh, a list of events and occurrences that uh, go on within the system. So I can see, look, I've added a few images and I've gone and created some storyboards and things that we're looking at today. Uh, but I can also see what other users have been doing. So if I scroll along, I can see, look, Emma, Emma's connected to Steve. Uh, and OK, we've got a few things going on here. We've viewed some reports and so on. Now from here, if I found a report that I wanted to revisit, so maybe I wanted to look at this date filter report, I could open it up and view that report. And perhaps I want to make that uh, this calendar year and see if there's any data there. Okay, so I've just simply accessed content directly from my timeline. And when you close content, you'll be taken back to the previous page that you were on. So if you navigated there from the timeline, you'll return to timeline. If you navigated there from the browse page, you'll return to the browse page and so on. Okay, so let's return to our consumer training, which I can easily do from my timeline. And we'll navigate through to the next section that we're going to have a look at. So now we're going to explore interaction. So how do I use Yellowfin content? Okay, there's several methods of interacting with reports in Yellowfin and we've tried to make uh, a lot of different types of interactive functionality available because it generally encourages users to come back and investigate their data a little better. And it really helps you get straight down into the specifics of what you're after from a report rather than seeing sort of high level overviews all the time. So the functionality that we're going to explore uh, includes three different drill types. 
uh, user prompt filters and breadcrumbs, uh, brushing, some date functionality and some analytic functionality on the dashboard. And there's a wide range of these, so we may as well just jump in and explore what those are. <laughs> so drill down. What is drill down? Basically, drilling allows you to see more detail. So you start out at a high level and you drill down in this scenario to a detail level. And the two other types of drilling allow you to see more detail as well, but just in different ways. So drill down really is the most common type of drill, uh, and it's very, very easy to use. Basically, what it means is that you've built a hierarchy into your report, or whoever created the report has done that for you. So in this particular report, I have camp region, I have a KPI field, and a sales field or an invoice field. And the hierarchy we actually have in this report moves from region through to country and then from country through to location. So if I was to click on Asia, for example, what will happen is I'll actually step down my hierarchy and what I'll see is a list of countries that I have data for within the region I've clicked on. So it's the same report, we're just replacing this column with the next level of our hierarchy. So if I click on Asia, you'll see I have Asian countries that I have data for. Now please be aware this is mock data, so if you see any uh, sort of uh, weird country region pairings and things, uh, don't worry about it too much. Okay, so from here we've actually got camp country and all of our figures have been updated. So let's click on Japan and then we can see our individual locations that we have within Japan. Now from here I can step back up the hierarchy if I want to uh, and I could alternatively explore a different branch of that hierarchy. So I could go from Europe down into maybe Italy and see all my locations within Italy. So basically what you have to try and remember is drill down is the one report using a hierarchy. The next type of drilling we're going to explore is drill anywhere and this is kind of the advanced cousin of drill down. So this is for users that really want to explore the data and have an idea of what they're looking for. Uh, if, if you're a user that just wants to stick to the standard kind of structures of the business and just wants to follow standard reports and, and needs those standard pathways, drill down is for you. If you're more of an analyst and you want to branch off into sort of weird combinations and you have an idea of what you want to explore that's maybe not something historically you would normally look at, drill anywhere is for you. So to explain, Drill Anywhere works the same way as Drill Down, except instead of already having the hierarchy defined, so in the previous version we had region to country to location, um, the user will actually define that hierarchy as they go. So for example, I've got my regions here again, and if I click on say Europe again, Instead of going directly to country, which I could do, see I can go camp country, I have a whole range of fields that I can use and in this case I might actually go to demographic and what will happen here is I will see a list of demographics that I have within Europe. So if I click on that I'll now see all my demographics but it's within Europe and then I could explore say the adventure category and maybe see an age breakdown. And what that will do is show me all the age groups within the adventure category within Europe. So as you can see, it does get a little bit complex quite quickly. So Drill Anywhere really is for slightly more analytic users. Uh, so generally we would suggest uh, sticking with Drill Down for the majority and using Drill Anywhere for sort of more sophisticated analysis. And the last type of drilling is a little bit different. It's called drill through and it actually links multiple reports together. 
So drill down and drill anywhere was the one report. Uh, it always had the same number of columns uh, and it just changed based on your hierarchy. Drill through are separate reports that we've linked together. So what we do is we start with a summary report. So we have our uh, main report here and it should always be a higher level than your second report. So this is quite a, a high level overview of our sales by year by region. And what we might want to do is allow our users to investigate the transactions for each of those uh, regions in each year. So we create a transaction report and we link it via drill through. By going to my dashboard and we're going to add a drill tab so we can see what I'm talking about. All right. So we have this uh, tab here and we're going to click on North America and you can see it's actually taken me to a separate report with North American sales. 